Here I import TK Inter, my own custom class, which is called Build. I add a main window, in the main class, and put some geometry on it, and eventually I call my custom class. It simply builds the window. There is a list to populate the drop down box just to make it easily maintainable. A couple of frames for the grid manager. The title goes into the top grid frame into the top frame. But here is the action. We must create our own scroll bar as it doesn't the list box doesn't come with that. We must then create a TK into list box and we must unite the scroll bar and the list box. This code is directly off the FBOT website about TK Inter and I've just edited it for my own particular use. Configuring the scroll bar to be Y rather than X direction, populate the list box and use the grid manager and add a button. Here is a small function called from the button which grabs the value from the list box and just tests it to see if it was cat, dog or apple. It's really just for testing purposes. I use the, the get function. Let's have a look if it works. All it's going to do is echo back the user input. So we choose apple. Scroll bar's in the wrong place. I'll move that in a minute. Click get and there it said if apple and echoed to the screen select dog click get and it's calling this function on the screen and printing dog and finally printing the cat so you can see it's quite easy to use I've made it a height one so it's only a single list box height Uh, scroll box. I've just got to change the row. It's on row one of the frame. It should be in row zero. This frame has two rows one with the button, one with the list box. So here is, is the offending line. So I just change it moving up one row. Click OK. And I'm just going to give it another run to see if it did move up from row 1 to row 0. There's a very useful thing about the grid manager compared to pack. Yes, and as you can see it's now in the second frame row 0 and the button in row 1.